What's up YouTube, my name is Will from What's Up in the Sky 37 channel or you catch me online at www.whatsupinthesky.com It's uh, Sunday night, I didn't have any videos this weekend had, I give you, I'll let everybody know my business here I had my girlfriend over this weekend, we had a good time Got a chance to relax, uh, looked at a couple of anomaly videos, not too much um, Didn't get her to help me with the video this time But I wanted to take a look at, I put this in one of my first videos uh, this whole picture and I'm just gonna focus on one or two things at a time here because it's such a good picture that uh, there's so much in this one and uh, as you can see here this looks like uh, a carved face that was part of something like a statue or maybe even something that was uh, looked like you walk up somebody's front yard or something along those lines but you can see the eyeball you can see the nose you can see the mouth my other Macintosh or my other apples over here at Macintosh my other apples over here booting up um, but for people who want to come, they saw the anomaly, want to roll, go ahead. If you want to stick around, we'll take another look at it. This is from the McMurdo Panorama from uh, the Spirit Rover. Now the Spirit Rover is the uh, one that's not working anymore. I think it had just uh, died out a little bit ago. But uh, there's a lot here, and uh, it's very interesting what is actually on this picture. Now, I want to show you the couple things. They, they put out this version and a version that NASA says they color corrected. Let me do what I usually do. If I'm just on a simple Macintosh, all I, or simple, I always say Macintosh. I still, this is still a Mac. Uh, basically, you drop the temperature because they always heat it up. They always put the reds. So I drop that. I give it a little bit of purple tint. And then just a little bit of this right here, the sepia. And it just gives it that puts the dirt color back in. And let me come out. This is a huge picture and uh, you can see then it's more of a the color of our planet here the blue skies uh, I think that Mars has blue skies I don't think it's I don't see it has red skies I think that they basically have a little thing on the rover that adds some color to it as it comes back that's why NASA does the white balancing on all theirs um, but let's go ahead and go back to the anomaly here. Now there's so many anomalies in this. If you check out one of my first videos, I did a whole bunch in one video, and it just kind of got, you know, to where a lot seems like a lot of people want to come see these videos real quick and then bounce on out. So let's see if we can get back to here. This is my mouse pad. I always have trouble with this trackpad. I need to take it back to Apple and get another one. I keep saying that, but I haven't done it yet. So, okay. So, like I said, there's tons of anomalies on this photo here. Okay, here we go. We're catching back up. All right. Here's the one I'm looking at. I mean, just, just, just for a brief thing up here, if you want to see a couple of them. This, I think that Mars at one time. If you watch my videos, you're one of my subscribers. I say this all the time. There was a fully functioning planet. Still is today. Life may have moved underground now um, because of the conditions, but I do believe it had atmosphere. It had everything that we had, and something destroyed it. Either a war between advanced civilizations, uh, impact from outer space. Maybe a uh, comet came, hit it, or an asteroid came and hit it. Um, so let's take a look at this one more time and it to me if you look at every other look at every let's just back it out just a tad and there's there's even more anomalies just right around this area here see look at this rock here that's flattened out into a shape of like your keyboard on like one of those old keyboards but let's see just as you back it out, look at the color of these rocks. Look at what's locally around. Now, a lot of it's, this is a little bit of sand here that's buried. So I'm thinking, it, you know, stuff got thrown around Mars. Uh, there's also those windstorms that uh, come, the cyclones, they come pick up stuff. Who knows where it drops it. But this, to me, looks nothing like anything around it. And it looks to be carved. On the front, it looks perfectly done. And this could have been part of a... A statue could have been sort of, you know, like I said, just a entryway thing to somebody's house. Who knows? That's what's great about these videos. That's why I hope you watch them because there's so much to them that you could, you know, just learn. Let me show you just a little bit else. See, that could have been the chimney for the house. We're going to look at this anomaly next. See that right there? It's got two, it's totally the same exact rock almost doubled twice back to back. Almost looks like a buttocks. <laughs> but anyway, hope. Oh. We got all this stuff there. We're going to go ahead and leave you with this one more time. Let me know what you think that is. Does that look like a statue to you, or does that just look like a random rock that's sitting out on Mars, just like the rest of them there? 
All right, much love, guys. Let me put it back to the way that NASA says it came down. Yeah, right. That doesn't look right to me. The other looks right. Take care. Much love. It's Will. Have a good day. What's up in the sky.com?